all right well now we're on part fucking four so um took one to the chest without even a sound like like i said it could be just heartbreak you know if you stab me in the heart kind of thing and i was gonna start singing shot in the heart and you're to blame you give love a bad name <sighs> you know what's really weird about that i get signs everywhere and this morning when my kid's father got up he was making eggs and stuff he was gonna mix it in with the dog food because i didn't make extra dog food which he gets hard stuff too but i don't know i spoiled the damn dog i just do but whatever i didn't make any last night so i gotta do that today but he was heating that up in the microwave just making them quickly in there and the fucking things like started popping like they were getting too hot and he opened the door and right as he opened the microwave door it went boom it fucking blew up everywhere and it hit him in the chest and he goes whoa he's like i opened the door and i got hit in the chest or something and i was like hmm that's a shitty fucking sign i don't know might not have anything to do with him but it's like i don't know it's just weird when that stuff happens i don't know because the microwave blew up but it's back like it blew up and then because it got wicked hot it, i thought the fucking thing was dead and then it wasn't dead and it, it came back ultimately i don't know so it could be like a dead situation you know something that you thought was over is not over too. Could also be a near-death experience for someone as well. But I don't know. Why is it making me think of that person? There was one person that I knew who I was told he was dead. Like, legit. And it got around town or whatever saying he died, but he didn't fucking die. So it's like a rumor. It's like I'm back from the dead. Like, you thought I died, but I'm not. I'm not dead. Well, I know he ain't dead, so that ain't him. But it's making me think of something like that. <sighs> what the fuck? I don't know why. Whatever. Um, The things you love or the people you hurt. Hey, it's like deja vu. The fucking situation is. A suicidal maniac with nothing to lose. I said someone has nothing to lose. So wait, it's the exception to the rule. Every one of us is expendable. Boom, lay, boom. One push is all you need. Boom, whatever. A fist first philosophy. We watch with wounded eyes, so I hope you recognize. I'm on the front line, don't worry, I'll be fine. The story is just beginning. I say goodbye to my weakness, so long to the regret. And now I know that I'm alive. I'm on the front line. Don't worry, I'll be fine. And it keeps repeating that. And now I see the world through diamond eyes. Every night of my life, I watch angels fall from the sky. Every time that the sun still sets, I pray they don't take mine. Like they don't take my angel. I'm on the front line. Don't worry, I'll be fine. The story is just beginning. I say goodbye to my weakness, so long to regrets. And keeps going looking through diamond eyes huh I don't know it just seemed weird so I was like fuck it cause I wasn't gonna share that like I honestly didn't know what fucking part 3 and apparently 4 oh 4 popped in there all the high priestess just saying the high priestess popped in there a message popped in there spirit popped in there what the fuck I don't know why I said that I really don't but the tower won't seem to go away so it's here because I was shuffling and I'm like what the shit is going on because I, I pulled cards before in part two towards the end but I still couldn't finish it because the fucking thing shut off on me again so let's see what's going on in part four. Well, we have the moon. What's going on in part four? We don't fucking know. Secrets. Page of swords. Spies. Spies. The 
fucking lying eyes. Lovers in the past. A decision in love. A little birdie told me. A little birdie told me. Hmm. It could be a younger energy who's watching someone secretly or whatever. There's a... T what the fuck is... Wait a minute. Hold on. This is wrong. Just give me a sec. This is wrong. Give me a sec. This is a wrong shit situation. This is wrong. Give me a sec. I don't... I don't want to do this. It is wrong. Tower. Okay. So the cards came out this way. Tower. Secrets. Spies. Love is on the mind. Okay, someone had shit twisted. They had it backwards. Or they wanted it to seem a certain way. Like, you're not getting this shit. You know, this is in the past. No, it fucking isn't. No, it isn't. I don't belong in the past. Well, some things belong in the past. They need to stay in the past. Four popped in there. Someone wants to shut down three so four can come in. No. Four popped in there. Four's good. Why the fuck is this so confusing sometimes? I'm just saying. No, four popped in there because four is good. Four is the one you want. Four is what you're thinking about, okay? The person you're thinking about. It's the decision you've already made that you haven't fucking said. Basically, because someone's been watching someone online spying, you know, lurking. Because there's good spies and bad spies. But this, like, what I'm thinking with the love situation is I'm trying to... This is a student. I'm figuring shit out. Like, I'm listening. I'm gathering information. All right. What do I do here? So, basically, the tower is helping or hindering the tower with secrets. It's like... You know, I needed to figure this out. But secrets have been illuminated. The shit that was in the dark is like kind of in the light now. Which is why the rainbow's on. So it's like... I don't know. A secret might suddenly be revealed. Or it was. The validation's coming in with that. But there's someone that doesn't want that to happen. Just gonna say. But there is like a younger energy that's like, this is all wrong. I'm not going to do this anymore. This is all wrong. Because in another reading I went, Oh, like my wrists hurt. My kid's father got cut there. And that's what it felt like. As a kid, this is all wrong. This is all wrong. Hmm. I keep wanting to go jingle bells, jingle bells. <sighs> Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost its wheel, the Joker got away. Hey. But there's that, but I also wanted to sing the actual jingle bells. How come every time I want to sing Jingle Bells, it comes out that way? I don't know, because I didn't even think of that. But with the Two of Cups is what you don't see coming. Or what somebody doesn't see coming, it's Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. It's a partnership. It's like, I got you. Like, here, take my hand. I'll help you. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Ooh, that's not good. The King of Swords reversed. You don't want to listen to that motherfucker. This one is either not talking at all, like just shut down, which I do feel for some. It's almost like a love connection is going to shut down a situation like, oh, we're going to shut you up now. Boop. It's like there's really nothing more you can say because this is here. Something like that. I don't know. That could be for somebody. But he is very, he or she is very, very narcissistic and pissed off in this position. I just heard I know a lot, but I don't say a lot. It's almost like when I say something. This is not the good one, though. Boom. This is what I'm going to say. What are you going to say? I need to know. 
All right, what the hell is, why is the king of swords reversed? I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this. Because I feel like there's multiple people that want that with you. Yeah, I'm not happy, five of cups. There's depression here too. I heard bipolar as well. Someone's got like, in the dream, to the garage, the door was off the hinges, if you know what I mean. So someone's off the hinges, they're off the rails. They're not on the runaway train. They're on the fucking crazy train headed straight to the, the hell, basically. <sighs> I just heard thunderstruck too. I don't know. Everything's just getting knocked over because of this. It's like all this shit's getting knocked over. I'm not fucking happy because this is here. The two of cups is here. Mmm. Gotcha. I'll keep my mouth shut. I won't say nothing. But then I will. It's the quiet ones you always have to watch out for. I'm just saying. My summer hurts really bad all of a sudden. Up here. And earlier, before the, the rainbow kicked on, um, my sage and stuff, like, I hit it with my ass. I don't, I don't know, my butt hit it and I knocked over my protection. That's what I said. I was like, oh shit, I knocked over my protection. I knocked over my protection. But then I was like, wait a minute, did I? And I was like, and then what did I say after that? I knocked over. And then I said, oh no, that's not it. My protection came in with a bang. Like, came crashing in, basically. Not with a bang-bang, but with a, oh, I'm here. I don't know, like, something. It's almost like there's some people in this situation that want you to look at it from one perspective when it's almost, like, confusing. Like, look at it from our perspective because this is what we want you to think. But it's like that's not what it is. Because there's lies here. One of the lies is trying to cut. Yeah, one of the lies is the fucking tower. It's like, no, this is an illusion. Because now the moon's reversed. It's like the tower. The, what the tower is, the problem, the lightning, the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. thunder, thunder. I gotta. That, I'm gonna do that in a second, but. Okay secrets out on it basically it's like everyone knows what this is they know that it's coming they know the storm's coming basically the storm is different for a lot of people but there is a really bad storm like you know when when the weatherman is like oh we're gonna get I don't know, like, especially in Maine, we don't get tornadoes and crap. Like, once in a while, we will we'll get microbursts, especially over the water. <sighs> Could be over a water sign or water signs in, involved. But anyways, um, over emotion, emotion, microbursts in, in the water. Like, oh, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm whatever. You know? Oh, what, 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 like, doo -doo -doo. but, oh, I'm pissed. Half a heart. What? Whatever. That's what my lips are saying. So, what was I saying? What? I can't get into her energy because I will go loopy. I'm just saying because Emma keeps forgetting crap. I don't know. I think it's on purpose. I think Spirit's doing that on purpose for her. Like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I do, because she's never been like that before, and it's only, like, within this energy. It's weird, so I'm not really sure, because she totally forgets what she's doing. <coughs> is that a health issue? No, it is spirit, because that does that to me. Oh, because spirit's channeling through her to tell me things, and then she don't fucking remember. She's like a vessel. She's a conduit. A lot of people are, and they can be. And she has no idea. That's why that keeps happening. Yeah, because she gives me a lot of information, and she doesn't even fucking know what she's saying. 
Like, I don't even understand it half the time, but whatever. I do later on. But, give me what for? Do, 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 do. What the fuck? I don't know if she's doing that. If she's getting a what for. Whatever, because that makes me think of her. But there could be the other one or the other kids that have the fucking jailhouse tattoos too. Just saying. But, um, she's not a water sign. And I mean, this, oh, it's not a water sign. It's an air sign. She is an air sign. She's a Libra. Why the fuck did I think this was a water sign? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, watery, blue, sad, emotional. That bird legit looks like my sister's old bird, fucking blueberry. One of them does. The one that's flying. <laughs> Down the road. She could be the crazy driver, just saying. She really does drive like a loon sometimes. Like, you know, slow the fuck down. You're going to kill somebody one of these days. Or yourself. Like, just, I don't know. Multiple people have said that. Just be careful, you know. I know you're in a hurry to get shit done, but you don't need to rush. Mm -hmm. Someone does not want your prayers to come true. Because, <sighs> all right. This can be a sense of rejection and stuff, too. Feeling left out. And I do feel like there is somebody in this situation, a few of them, that do feel left out. But, you know, that's life. Rejection sucks. It sucks. It happens to everyone. You know how many times I've been rejected too? You know, I've had people go, oh, how would anyone turn you down? Everyone gets turned down. And I'm not fucking, I'm not that great. I'm just saying. I'm not like Beyonce or some crap. But, um, you know what I mean? Like, we all... We all go through heartbreak. We all go through pain. We all, we don't always get what we want, but you get what you need. You know what I mean? There's prayer here. And it's like, I want, it's like God, universe, whatever. I want what's best for me. I want love in my life. I want money, you know, abundance, because I want stability. I want to be taken care of. I don't want to have to worry. And that's the way that I say it. It's like, I just winked. It's not, it's not, oh, I want $10 million. It's, I don't want to have to worry anymore. I want to be able to pay my bills, go on vacation and do the things that I want to do and enjoy this life and have these experiences. I don't have to be a fucking millionaire to do that stuff, you know? But a lot of people are like, oh, I'm wishing for a certain whatever, you know? No, you wish for what you want in a specific way, you know, because that's specific. I don't want to have to worry anymore. I don't, I want to be taken care of. I don't always know what that means, wink. <laughs> that's what I just did again. I don't always know what that means, but I know that I'll be okay because that's what my prayer is and that's what's getting answered. Do you know what I mean? Everything's gonna be okay. But this kept flipping and slipping and shh and whatever. So someone's slipping and flipping around. I don't know, did you fall fucking down? Did you fall on your ass? Did you slip on the ice? Be careful, it's icy and shitty out there, you know? Like put some sand or salt down, do something. My son had to put salt down out back because it was <laughs> slippery as a motherfucker taking the dog out. I don't like the way that sounded either, but whatever. Slippery as a motherfucker trying to take the dog out. <laughs> Just saying. Slippery as a motherfucker trying to take the dog out. I keep talking about, hey, little dog, the big dogs moving in, that song and stuff. Or the fucking mad dogs coming in. <sighs> the slippery as the motherfucker trying to take the dog out. Yeah, because spirit's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you can't. I don't know who the fucking dog is, just saying. Because there's multiple dogs, but in a bad situation, it's like someone's trying to take someone out, ultimately. It's like, not going to happen. You're not going to get your wish, if that's what you're wishing for. Because the mad dog is moving in. Why the fuck did I say it like that? It's like... You might be the big motherfucker. You might be the big dog. But I'm pissed. 
is what I feel like. How dare you? How dare you even think about doing this, that, or whatever? I don't know. Someone's pissed. Like, they're not happy with what they're hearing. And this isn't like, I'm pissed off, I'm a poor cap in your ass. It's not that. This person's very reasonable. They're very... They're realistic. They're, they're a realist, basically. So, it's like, they're not pessimistic. They're a realist. <laughs> it's a great thing of. It's like the glass half empty, half full. It's like, oh, I'm a glass half full kind of person. And, oh, you're a glass half empty kind of person. And, and your person or this person that's mad or upset and getting a little fucking fired up is like, no, I'm a realist. That's piss. <laughs> you know, like there's piss in that cup and I don't want half of it or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's not a... Okay, I was gonna say, it's not a... Stop it. It's not a bad, oh, shit. But part of it is. Well, okay, for one, I feel like there is someone in this situ... Whew. Why am I gonna pass out? What the fuck? My heart is in my damn throat right now. Um... Third eye. I pick it up on someone. <sighs> what was I gonna say? Um Mellow Mellow ah! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I did that again. Um <laughs> Why am I laughing? Mm, now my back hurts fight. I don't know. I want to fight for this, but there's a difference of opinion definitely in here. Just saying. There's a lot of people that just don't want you and this person to come together. Like, they are fighting against this connection because it's beautiful. Especially if we're talking about love. It's like, all the haters are sending all their bad juju everyone's fucking way. I just winked on the other side, but anyways, they are. And it's like, I feel like it's like I just don't know what to believe, who to believe, whatever. That's kind of what was going on. But it's like, I believe you. Because look, the light is cracking through all this adversity in this card. It's like, you can say this, you can do this, you can do whatever. But the sunshine's going, <sighs> sending passion through, sending enlightenment through. Or your love interest is doing that. Someone is. It's like, I'm shedding light on the conflict, on the problem. Light has been shed on the problem. Which is why there's a fucking tower here. All right, so what flew out that was like, oh shit, but it's really not, is success. Someone wants to give you their undivided attention with the Ten of Cups, which I had. That was in part two, and then it cut off. It went, eh, we're not going to know. Well, we are knowing, because we know now, you know? Because it, part two was slowed, like it cut off, and then part three was really fucking quick. And part four is this. This is your ten of cups. This is, I want to give you my undivided attention. Uh, we will be successful. I will fight the, I will fight for this. Because this is the five of wands right here. This is the battle. This is what we're fighting for. What are you fighting for? Fight for your rights. Fight for your life. Fight for what you want. You will be victorious, no matter who you are, no matter what you're fighting for. Because this is your fulfillment. It's like, why are we going to let this stand between this or in front of this? Someone wants to do that, like, no, you're not getting this. Spam. It says, potential spam is the fight. Hold on. Just hang up on the fight. <laughs> so anyways, oh my leg, that's not pain in my upper thigh again, it feels like a stabbing pain, it's just in one spot, I don't know what the fuck that's all about, I'm gonna hang up on the fight, but you're gonna get what you want ultimately, there is a cat blocking the situation though, a karmic, Possibly a karmic who thinks that they're victorious or they, they, 
that might try to come in before before your love interest. I don't know. There's like a race here. There's a couple people. Excuse me. Who are all fighting for the same person, situation, or thing for different reasons. Like, listen to your damn heart because if you listen to your head or your fucking love stick or your punani, just saying, you might pick wrong. Don't go for the werewolf. Wait for Edward. Wait for your, your light vampire. You know, the one that's that doesn't look on the outside like maybe by their actions or whatever happened between the two of you they might look like they were problematic at one point or they just were non-committal or whatever they were hiding their true selves behind their passion behind all of that the passion's still here for you they're still that type of person like with one person does that make sense because this is your ace of wands. This is your new beginning. Once the once the problem's gone, once the problem's gone, there'll be no more fighting. Let's do this. Because that's what the new beginning is. It's the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. It's that warm, cozy feeling. Because look, they're cuddled up in front of the fireplace. You might not legit have a fireplace. Some of you do, or a wood stove. But regardless, there's a rat in the basket. Jackson ate my basket. I was so pissed. That sounds bad. <laughs> but, no, I had a basket, like a wooden one or whatever. I got it up the road. It was free, but and I painted it and whatever. I really liked the damn thing, but he kept chewing it up. And he busted a side, like, one of the sides out of it. So now my spaghetti squash is going to fall out, but I got to get a new one. A rat in a basket. Rats take things. Mice chip away at things. A friend was chipping away at something. The high priestess has been chipping away at shit. Delivering.